enjoying this match of the start of the third end with Shannon winning 3 2. The beauty of short map bowls is that uh, <laughs> it's a game for both sexes all ages and all abilities and all abilities and as you can see Shannon is using a tool to help her bowl which is totally permitted within the rules of the competition and within bowls itself it's recognized for those who are unable to bind down but still love the game of balls. There are quite a few players around that use it and it's a skill in itself to use to learn how to use it. Yes, a good shot there. Shannon will just look to try and play that shot. That shot would at the front and just knock it back to her own. Oh, she's gone a bit wide, I think. It's ended up in another good position now. It's receiving wood there. Ingrid has just had a look and confirmed that they're both touching and she's gone around the back as well, which stays on. It's going to be a good shot. Yep. Okay, Shannon goes for it and hits it too hard. She's got the best back. That's a tight end. Yep, confirmed as a tight end. So the score hasn't changed, but the ends go up one. It's quite common in um, short map bowls where you get two woods touching. It's not so common in uh, the longer version, for obvious reasons. That was the shot I would definitely go for that. Yeah, this is good. It takes real skill to uh, play with one of these machines. I've tried it and I was pretty rubbish at it, to be honest with you. So uh, it takes a lot, a lot of practice. Yep, Shannon's wood is falling in behind. I'm very pleased with that. Well, that <laughs> Not a good shot there. 
Yeah, in for the count. Chance for anger it here to just draw on to those two black roots and uh, take the shot. It's just come a bit heavy. She might get lucky here. No, didn't bounce. She needed a nice bounce off of the wood there, but it didn't come. I think there might be a chance of a four here. Shannon. On this angle, it looks like three at the moment. And it's on a good line. It's all on the way. I think it's there. It's going to take the jack back as well a little bit, which will help. Very good. <laughs> that was a four to Shannon, so she's gone into a 7-2 lead here. Shouting at the jack there, because uh, the wood there, because it didn't quite carry. His anger had a chance to get in there. Oh, she's a bit wide. Is it going to hang? Yeah, it's just stayed on. It's going to come back lovely. Look at that. Very good. Perfect weight. Came back perfectly. Uh, good, good follow-up bowl. Got the jack perfect there in the wood. Chance though for Hanger to uh, just push it behind. She hits the shot wood, pushes it back to her wood. I think that's what she'll be looking for. Yeah, she's not far off here. Oh, very unlucky. And it's gone off into the ditch. Very close there. I'm sure she'll try that again. Useful. That's a good receiving wood there. Very good. So Hangrid does hit this now, possibly going back to that black wood at the back on the right as we're looking. Yeah. yeah still going for it. It's gone a bit heavy this time. Same again. It's one either side now, so maybe she'll uh, try again and get it dead on. She might try for a draw next time. Oh, that's very good. That might force Anger just to draw in now because she's two down. Yeah, she's changed the shot, but she's gone narrow. So that was another four after a very tight measure for Shannon. She's gone into an 11 2 lead. If anyone has um, not ever done Shop Map Players Tour and uh, just watching the videos, thinking about it, um, I would encourage you, if you're a, a bowler of any ability, to come in and enjoy the experience. This is a two day event. We have um, 192 players playing this weekend. And 32 groups of six. Everyone gets five group matches plus a guaranteed knockout match. Uh, after the group games, this is the last of the group games for these players. After this, they go into um, a knockout depending on how well they've done. The top two going through to the cup, third and fourth go through to the plate, and the fifth and sixth go through to a shield cup. So, competition. So, you end up playing people who have had a similar experience to you in the group sessions. Uh, 
The knockout starts at 12 o'clock on the Sunday with the shield knockout. So it's uh, the most enjoyable competition, very friendly, people of all abilities, and I do encourage everyone to uh, consider it if you haven't been already. Those who have been will know what I'm talking about. And Shannon's currently holding. It's been won. She's looking to draw in a second. Might be a bit light here. Yeah. Angrid's backward is probably second word. She wants to draw between the two on to middle jack. Get the shot here. It's close this. Oh, very close. That was a good shot from Mangrid on the last wood to take the shot. It's 11 3 down after six ends, so plenty to play for still. Yep, that's drawn in for shot. Plenty of room though for a draw to the jack here. Yeah, I think that's going to come in. It's going to come in lovely. Look at that, lovely. Shot by. Shannon there, Mangridge says contemplating. Just going to just draw it in. Nice and wide, her woods will come back. Just a little bit heavy, I think. Yeah, to get back to the middle line now. I think that's in for two. It's wide open now, so this is a better draw, I think, is it? Oh no, she's taking the weight off this time. Chance of a three for Shannon here. Yeah, I'm not sure. Definitely two.